Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. So today I'm going to do a general favorites video. So what I have been liking lately, not just for May, not just for a month, but just things that I've been using that I've really been liking over the past couple of months. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot of makeup, so I didn't want to do like a May favorites because I really don't have that much for May. So I'm just going to do kind of a general favorites of different things, um, including some makeup. Anyways, um, if you would subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. And uh, if you wanted to click the notification bell, you would be notified of all my future uploads. Anyways, I did do my makeup today. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I don't know what to start with. Should we start with makeup? Yeah, let's, well, makeup-ish products. Um, okay, so I didn't use this today, but a palette that's newer um, that I have been loving is the Berries by Juvia's. This Juvia's Place palette. Rot here. I haven't used it a ton, but I really like it so far. I really like the color story. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's really fun. Um, it kind of looks more like a fall palette in a way, but, like, it's light enough, though, that it's, like, really good for um, summer as well. So that is the eyeshadow palette that I've been loving. I just kind of have it a mess, as a me like, all of a mess beside me. All of a mess. Um, okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, next, um, the mascara that I have really been loving, which is a, shoot, a huge shocker to me because this is like not the typical um, eyelash brush that I like, but by Thrive Cosmetics, this Liquid Lash Extensions, this one right here. So typically I like the full bristles, but this one just has, it's like the skinny can see it there the skinny one um normally I don't like this kind normally I, I like the like I said the full bristles but or the full brush but I really like this like I'll, I'll put two coats on and it really you can really see my lashes um I used it today I don't know if you can see my lashes I can't tell but um I just put two coats on today I mean sometimes I build it up to three coats and yeah it, I think it really works good um, a newer product that I have been loving, especially since it's been a little bit warmer out and some, like, humid, um, I've really been loving this. This is the No Makeup Instant Blur Primer by Paracone MD. So this is what it looks like, um, the outside packaging. Now, the one thing that I have to say, like, this is a really expensive brand, and the packaging feels really cheap. That's the one thing that I'm not super impressed by, but um, if, on the inside, this is what it looks like, and it has a little rubber, um, like, spongy thing here, and then you open it up, but, like, this piece right here, I don't know, this is, it's just so flimsy, and I don't know, it doesn't feel, like, high-end at all, but this is what it looks like, and I have been using it with this little sponge, and sometimes I use it without, but it kind of reminds me... Of another one that I can't think of um, <laughs> brain issues today but the the Tatcha one uh, God, I can't think of it but yeah this is kind of what it reminds me of but I when I started testing this out like I use my finger and then I use this as well um, I like have a lot of larger pores like on my nose and like right in here and like I can literally like see them blur like, normally when I put something on, it's like, yeah, kind of, but, like, when I put this on, seriously, I can see it blur. It's awesome. So, I have been loving this. And I don't see anybody ever talk about it, so, I don't know. Maybe other people don't like it. <laughs> um, so, the eyeliner that I have been using a lot, um, and I always use liquid liner. I don't ever use regular liner. Um, so for my bottom lashes, I always use eyeshadow. But when I do a wing, I'm, and I did not use this one today. It's funny, I have a different one that I tried and I don't like it. It's like the Il Ma Maquillage or something like that. But the, the tip of it is too stiff. 
but this one I really like. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is just a small one. I got it in a, um, a subscription box, but this is the tip on it and it's flexible. So the one that I used today, it's not, it's hard. And I don't like the hard, I like the flexible tips. You can flip for the wing and you can, you know, do your thing and that just not impressed or this I love not impressed with the other one that I used today um so I have been loving this for spring um this is the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist um the smell of it is awesome it's not a setting spray I wish that and maybe they do and I just don't know but I wish that they had a setting spray that had the same smell because absolutely love it and the mister is really good on it or the mist <laughs> is really good on it too even it's a pump but it's the, it's the, like the finest mist and so that's the um, watermelon glow ultra fine mist and then the setting spray though I just got this in the travel size but this is the morphe continuous um, setting mist which I'm sure a lot of you have used and I like am a virgin to it so I had never used it before but this one is the one that I got, um, and this is in Sweet Peach, and I actually didn't use a setting spray today, but one thing that I absolutely love about this one is the mist on it, or is the spray. So it's an aerosol, but it's a really, 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 really fine mist, and um, it smells amazing, so I'm, like, I love this. Um... It doesn't really say like if it's like matte or not, but I really like it and the smell makes me happy. Um, okay, so let's see, let's move on to some skincare. So I have been having breakouts. Um, I don't, I didn't put a whole lot of like foundation. I used my powder foundation, didn't really do much of that, but I have been also getting breakouts along the sides of my neck. And my makeup looks really muddy. Oh. Anyways, um, so I have been using a couple different things. And if you guys have watched my videos before, you know I never have lids to things. I lose them all the time. I'm surprised that I still had it for this and <laughs> this, but I always lose the lids. So this is the Tula Probiotic Skin Care Pro Glycolic 10% pH Resurfacing Gel. So I have been using this. You can, I don't know if you can tell, but like it's down to, well, about right there. But, um, so I really like this. It's not like technically for acne, but it's to help like resurface the skin because I have a lot of scarring now because of all this. Ugh. You would think at my age, I don't know. So then the second product here that I've been using, which is almost gone, is this one right here by Tula. It's the Probiotic Skin Care. It's the Acne Clearing and Tone Correcting Gel. So it has salicylic acid in it um, and probiotics to fight acne and help prevent future breakouts. Um, it has azelic acid and niacinamide to brighten spots left behind by acne to brighten spots. Um, willow herb and hyaluronic acid obviously to hydrate and so I have been using this um, and I'm all, it's almost gone I'm so sad I'll have to order more but I really really like this I feel like it really works um, 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 oh and then I got this let's see it's peach and lily this the Good Acids Pore Toner Gently Exfoliates and Balances has AHA and Turmeric. So this right here is a toner. Like, in, I just recently got it. I think, like, maybe, I don't know, a month ago, maybe, in the subscription box. I can't remember which one. But this stuff, I seriously feel like it really, really works. I use it twice a day most of the time and just put it on a cotton ball and put it all over. I swear it has changed my skin. So really, really, really like this. Like there's not a product that I am like in love with like this one. So definitely will be repurchasing. Um, I have been using this. And I got this from Dollar General for like two bucks. It's maximum strength zit-free acne treatment cream. And this is 10% um, benzoyl peroxide. 
So if you've never used benzoyl peroxide for acne, be careful because 10% is a lot. Um, they have products that have a little bit less than that, but this is like major, like, so what I've been doing is just like putting it on spots and then it like dries them out. It's, you know, obviously because it's benzoyl peroxide, that's what it's supposed to do. But, um, and then the uh, um, SPF that I've been using, I've been using this for quite a while now. Um, I use it every single day. It's the Murad um, Environmental Shield Daily C or Essential C Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So love this stuff, love the smell. Um, like I said, I wear an SPF. If I'm not going out for the day, maybe I won't, but even if I'm just gonna be in my vehicle, like I always wear it because I really damaged my skin. Um, like when I was in high school, I started tanning at age 15, going to the tanning booth. So this, love it. Um, for taking off my makeup, um, I have been loving the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. Um, so I have like some Neutrogena ones as well, or like Walgreens brand maybe, like they're supposed to compare to Neutrogena or whatever. But the Kirklands, these are from um, Costco, and you can get them in like a big thing, so like you have a lot of them. But I really like these. They're thick. Like, um, I can just use one to take off all of this. It's pretty crazy, but I really like these, the Kirklands brand. Um, so... Let's do a hair care product. So the um, shampoo and conditioner that I've been using is um, the Alterna, the Caviar Anti-Aging line. It's pretty expensive, but um, it's worth it. Um, the shampoo and conditioner, you know, if you get the smaller size, like I didn't get the huge like $50 bottle size. <laughs> Um, I got the smaller ones and they have lasted a long time. Like you don't need much shampoo at all. Um, but I have been using this smoothing anti-frizz blowout butter when I straight, excuse me, straighten my hair and it protects and perfects medium to thick hair. So I don't use a whole lot because then it makes it feel like you have something on your hair, but I love this stuff and the smell is really good too. So that is that. Um, something, well, let's go to this first. Okay. So as far as like skincare, what I've been absolutely loving is this whipped body butter and it is in the scent Magnolia. So this stuff here, um, I got it at a local store, um, Juniper Apothecary and I'll put their link down below. Uh, they have so much stuff um, on their website and they are a local business here, but they do ship. Um, I highly, highly recommend this stuff. So the, it's the Whipped Body Butter Body Cream. Oh my God, the smell is so good. Oh, you can't hardly see it, but you do not need very much. I mean, just taking like that much, once you put it on your skin, it just spreads. And so you hardly need any. But the, the thing that I really love about it is that like I'll put it on in the morning. Oh my God. And I'll still smell it when I go to bed on my skin. What other product does that? I mean, I can put on like Bath and Body or whatever lotions and um, I can't smell it by the end of the day. I mean, it wears off. But this stuff, and it's really good for your skin as well. Um, I mean, you can read all of the ingredients in it. So, love it, love it, love it. Uh, okay, so there's that. And then, so this um makeup bag that i have been loving i wanted to share it um this last weekend memorial day weekend i went to my parents cabin our family's cabin and i brought this i hadn't used it yet but it is now my absolute favorite so i got this in either single swag or Th therabox but it's by yumi kim yumi kim right there so it's nice and compact right but when you open it up, oops, I have a brush that's going to fall out. You can open it up like this. And then back here has a hanger. But seriously, I, I just left some of the stuff in it still. But you can fit so much stuff. Like I fit a bunch of brushes in here. I fit 
eyeshadow palettes. I still have my uh, palette in there. Um, and a ton of my skincare stuff in here. So it's insane. But, and then you just, like, you put this back on the back. It has a holder for it. And then you just close it and zip it. And, it, I mean, there's tons of room in there. You can, you can fit so much stuff in there. It's crazy. Like, I have one that's bigger than this. And I don't know what the deal is, but, like, I can fit more in here. And it's, like, way more compact. So, loving that. Um, let's see. Let's move on. So, not makeup related. Um, of course, I don't have the lid. But the this candle... Um, anxiety girl. I think I showed this. Um, I did a video. I got this um, in PR from uh, You've Been Framed, and the smell like, I don't know, like, I burn Bath and Body Works candles too, and they smell good, but they always kind of smell like fire or like something is burning, kind of, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but this one. It's just, it literally, your room or whatever, my whole upstairs when I burn up my room will smell like the smell of the candle. And it's it's fun too. They have a ton of different ones like this. But this is the Anxiety Girl. It says infused with impending doom. <laughs> um, but it's 100% organic soy, cotton wick, 45 hour burn. Like it doesn't even look like I've burned it hardly at all. And I burn it all the time. Um, so what, I can't remember, does it say? Yeah, I don't know. But, um, these candles are amazing and they, like, have one for everybody. Like, there's so many more that I want. Um, but yeah, it smells so good. So, um, I'll leave the link either to this candle or just, um, <clears throat> to their website down below. Um, I know that sometimes they have specials on shipping and things like that. So, um, yeah, these are, these are just awesome. Really, really like them. Okay. And speaking of scents, um, so my favorite scent right now, so I thought I'd talk about that. Like I'm obsessed with this one. Um, I don't, this is Scentsy. I don't sell Scentsy. Um, but I know a lot of people who do. Um, but my favorite scent right now is sea salt and avocado. My other favorite scent is Go Go Mango, but, oh my gosh. So, I talked to my person that I order these from, and I was like, how many can I get? <laughs> like, how many do you have? Like, give me all of them. So, I have a bunch of this one, and I gotta get some more Go Go Mango from her, but this is my favorite scent for my Scentsy Burner right now. Um... <clears throat> is another scent here that I have been using. Um, this is a sheet or like a linen and room spray in Pear Blossom by Caldrea. And you can get it off like Grove Collaborative or their own website. Or I think I might have gotten this off Amazon. I can't remember. But it smells so good. I spray it on my sheets and stuff and it lasts and it smells really good. Put that back beside my bed. Um, what is next? Oh. My favorite scrunchie right now. <laughs> I was like, I'm never buying a scrunchie. Like, those were really popular when I was younger. I'm not buying one. But this one right here, I love. And it's got so much hair in it because I use it all the time. And, like, it doesn't, like, crease my hair. So I got this from uh, Shop Miss A for, like, a buck. <laughs> so it was awesome. I just wanted to share that. Um, so two books that I am loving right now that I thought I would share... I got this one in single swag. Um, I'll leave that link down below too if you want to watch that video. But this is one of the things I got in my last single swag. And I've been sitting out on my back porch and just reading. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time to read. I listen to audiobooks mostly. But The Gratitude Diaries, this is such a good uplifting book. Highly recommend. And then another book, and since I deal with like anxiety and depression and everything, that I've really been loving to look through um, is this How to Be Mindful book, and it's by Anna Barnes, and so it just has different ways to teach you, like, how to be mindful, um, but, you know, like, if I'm feeling anxious or just kind of blah, then I kind of just look through the book, and so that's a really good book. Is that all I have to show you guys? 
it is. So that's all the products that I have. I do want to tell you though, I just got finished watching Outer Banks. Have you guys watched that? So it's on Netflix and that has been my favorite show so far in the last couple. Well, I, I, honestly, it only took me like two weeks to watch the whole thing. And that's why I don't have enough time to read. <laughs> but anyways, I saw the previews and I was like, this is going to be stupid. But it was so good. <laughs> and at the, the finale, like the last one, <laughs> I was like crying. <sighs> I can't wait to, to watch the next season. I hope, I heard, I read that it's coming out in like 2021. Like late 2021. Like really? Get on this. Let's get this out. And then currently one that I'm watching, because I'm done with that one is um 60 days in and I'm kind of late to the party because there's already like five seasons but um I just started watching season one actually I finished season one last night and it's like this show um about Clark County Jail and people volunteer to go into the jail because it is a bad jail like I've never been to jail but it, I don't know, it's, they're trying to like fix the jail since there's a new sheriff and everything. So anyways, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty bad jail. And so they kind of, they go in and you know, they, they act like inmates and they're treated like inmates and like only certain people know, like the COs in there, like corrections officers don't know that they're like planted in there. So it's really good. Like every end the end of every single episode it's like <gasps> so I've stayed up way too late watching it some nights because I'm like okay fine just one more just one more you know you know how that is so anyways yeah I think that's it sorry my lighting is like going in and out I'm using natural light um but yeah that's all that I have for my favorites right now and I'll probably do one in another couple months we'll see what's new but let me know down in the comments what are your guys' favorites right now. Have you guys seen Outer Banks? Chase Stokes. I mean, he's a little young for me, but he is cute. That John B. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.